If you have a radon mitigation system and you're wondering if it is operating properly, uh, one of the things you'll want to do is check what is known as your manometer. So the manometer is this little device here that's got a fluid in it, and it could be red, blue, could be multiple different colors of fluid. Uh, but what we want to do is check to make sure that the fluid levels are offset. And that's to say that one level of the fluid is higher than the other. And that's not telling us anything about the actual radon levels. That's just telling us that there is suction in the pipe. So the way that it does that is there's this little tube that goes and is inserted into the radon mitigation piping itself. So as the fan is sucking air, it's pulling the fluid on that side a little bit higher than the other side. Again, just telling us that there is suction inside the piping. Now, one of the ways that we can test this and, and to make sure it's set properly is you can actually pull out the tube from inside the pipe and it'll reset the levels down and they should be set at zero. And if that needs adjusted, the whole manometer itself can be pushed up or down to set the levels at zero. There should also be a faint hissing noise coming from the pipe itself, which is just that air being sucked in through that hole. So then what we'll do is we'll put our little tube right back in there and the level should now be offset again. If there's an older system, sometimes the fluid levels uh, become stagnant, the fluid itself does, and it won't move at all. So it might give you that false sense of it being uh, the system working when really the, the fluid is just stuck at the level that it is. So that's why it's important to make sure to pull this out uh, and make sure that the uh, fluid actually adjusts in height when you do that. So as long as these levels then are uh, offset to some degrees and sometimes it's it might be a very minimal amount but as long as there's some difference uh, the fluid levels the fan is uh, operating.